Community in mourning after a prominent Catholic bishop is found shot and killed inside of a Hacienda Heights home. Bishop David McConnell has served the LA area for more than 40 years. Now authorities are investigating the incident as a suspicious death. KTLA's Annie Rose Ramos is live near the scene. She's following the very latest developments this morning. Annie Rose. Lauren, good morning. We are standing just at the edge of Jan Lu Avenue. You can see behind me these caution tapes. This is where Sheriff's Department have blocked off this entire street. You can't move in any farther, but I'll step aside so you can see. We believe that second house in where you see a sheriff's uh, deputy car parked there is the home belonging to Bishop David O'Connell. He was living in the second house in. That is where police say they found him shot and killed yesterday at around 1 p.m. But Lauren, we want to go straight to some images that are coming to us from earlier this morning. You can see there the coroner van leaving the street. We also saw in the overnight hours investigators and crime lab units coming in and out of this house. As of this morning, as you mentioned earlier, sheriffs calling this a suspicious death after the 69 year old auxiliary Bishop was found by police bleeding in a room of this home off Jan Lu Avenue on Saturday at around 1259 p.m. Police saying the bishop was shot in the chest and pronounced dead at the scene. They do not believe there is any threat to the public after this shooting, but homicide investigators are now looking into this case. Now take a look at this. These are images from last night when members of the Catholic community gathered here on this street praying and paying their respect to Bishop O'Connell, who was born in Ireland and named an auxiliary bishop back in 2015 by Pope Francis, serving as a priest here in the LA County's inner city for more than 45 years. But his parish, Lauren and Pedro, was St. John's just about two blocks away. We went over to the church a few minutes ago and spoke to folks who say they are shocked and saddened to hear this news. Take a listen. I'm here not very often, but out in the community, we saw him here and there, you know, so it's super sad. What was it? What, what, what kind of person was he like? Very bubbly, very nice, very cordial, kind, you know, typical bishop, you know. <laughs> shocked. Yeah. Shocked. Yeah, we're just shocked. We read it last night and been upset and crying and it's just been really sad. He was a great, great uh, bishop. We, I know him personally and I, my daughter, is very, very uh, knowing to him. So we're, we're really sad about that. Tell us what kind of person was he? Um, he, he was just a wonderful uh, religious man, adoring God all the time. I gotta go. Sorry for your loss. Lauren and Pedro in a statement from the Archbishop Jose Gomez. He said, quote, Auxiliary Bishop David O'Connell has passed away unexpectedly. It is a shock and I have no words to express my sadness. A man of deep prayer who had a great love for our blessed mother, Bishop O'Connell was a peacemaker with a heart for the poor and the immigrant. Now, Lauren and Pedro, on the other side of the street where I'm standing, there are candles. There are notes of memories and prayers for Bishop O'Connell. We understand from neighbors that he walked around this entire neighborhood with his dog. He was very friendly, very bubbly, as you just heard there. In the meantime, the sheriff's uh, deputies are here at this home continuing their investigation. But at this point, they are saying that it is a suspicious death and they will be investigating further. Reporting live from Hacienda Heights, I'll send it back to you both in Hollywood.